Now, I love to use mock scrapes, and the really cool thing about a mock scrape is that bucks tend to begin using them right away, and that's no different with does and fawns. A um, lot of fun to put them out. What I don't suggest you do is we're in early October right now, and is, is go out and make a mock scrape in your favorite woods by your favorite tree stand right now. Um, just because of the commotion and the noise, and if you leave any scent around, just not the great time. Everyone thinks about putting a mock scrape out during hunting season. We're typically starting ours in June, July, August, and by the time it gets into the hunting season, boy, those things are going strong. Um, I like using a mock scrape for a few reasons. One, it establishes a pattern of use on that line, line of movement that you're trying to create. So it creates even just a small source of attraction, no different than a small apple tree along the way or a little bit of water, um, a mineral lick where it's legal. It establishes that pattern of use so that the deer move from point A to point B, typically bedding in the afternoon to a food source towards evening. So you can capitalize and define that movement. The more defined that movement is, the more you can define how you hunt. You can hunt behind bedding areas in the morning, you can hunt the food source in the evening, you can hunt in between for cruising, maybe even an all day sit. That mock scrape can become an important part of that movement. Of course, don't suggest that you make 30 or 40 on your 40 acre property because it lowers the value of that one single one. Typically in our 40 acres, we have four or five. We put a cameras by them a lot of times, but again, going back to the really cool part about them, deer begin using them right away. We have a lot of examples even this year of new mock scrapes we've created, deer using them. We establish that pattern of use early. Might even create a nice spot for a stopping uh, point for when a buck's coming through by your tree stand. And it's a great place to hang a camera and take an inventory of the bucks that are using your property in October. Doesn't really matter what bucks are there in July, August, September. You need to take some type of a deer census or a deer survey in the middle of October and a mock scrape is a very low invasive way to take a survey and a census of the local box in your area that you can actually hunt, you can actually pattern, you can actually hold and protect and advance to the next age class potentially and create that quality herd that you might be looking for or that quality hunting experience. So several reasons to use a mock scrape, but again, going back to pretty cool how we can set them out. Deer begin using them all right away, all, all deer, uh, fawns, does, box, mature box, young box, and uh, I invite you to try them out. Maybe it's a little bit late getting into October, November this, this time of year, um, but start them early, often. And what you'll find is we use a vine and hang it down, but you'll find that those vines and those mock scrapes can stay there for uh, years to come.